thank you for sticking around for those who did. Thank you for uh, everything. It's been a hell of a tournament. A couple tournaments, really. Technically, it's like two tournaments wrapped into one. Uh, but obviously different ELOs. Lower bracket, higher bracket, all that fun stuff. Uh, but today, we have low APM, high BMI, and then he's facing up against Walter Wanderly here. This is a round of 16 matchup here. And we'll have to see how it goes. We'll check ELOs in a second. Low APM here has selected Battlegrounds. Walter selects Forest. They ban out all the way down to Nomad Hubs as game number one. Civilizations here. Low APM banned Mongols. Chose Goss, but they were sniped from him. He'll have Lithuanians, Portuguese, Huns, and, of course, Koreans remaining. And then Walter bans Spanish picks Persians, but they were sniped from him. We'll have Malians, Khmer, Magyars, and Berbers left over for him. So this is the round of 16. Best of three winner advances on to the round of eight, which will be the quarterfinals, of course. And we are underway, folks. Walter Wanderley versus low APM high BMI. And this is a best of three. And we'll see villagers in the south here for low APM dropping that town center. Yellow's a little harder to see on the mini-map, right? But it looks like we're going to see a town center over here on the gold in between some wood lines. There's some good food here, of course. So players not as close as we've seen them in the past. We'll have a house over here for Walter Wanderley, who has chosen to go with the Berbers for game number one. Which is always a fun sieve on a Nomad map. And then we have, of course, low APM, high BMI here with the Portuguese. He will be kind of in between nodes, but mostly on the uh, wood node. And he's already bringing in a boar. Will he be able to get this boar in before it is too late to shoot it down? As we actually have a vill. Oh, oh no, this vill could die. Oh no! Oh, it's so awkward. He can't kill the Vill. He will have to run with it. Oh, what an interesting start, though. He's actually going to try to chase it down here. Makes sense. Uh, but obviously, he's not going to end up finding that one. That was a very awkward, awkward turn of events, though. And we'll have to wait and see how everything else progresses. But. A very awkward start, obviously a little bit less efficient eco for both, but probably worse for Walter. But I guess he got his own boar in under his town center during the midst of all of that. So, not bad, all things considered. Uh, and that vill is actually just going to turn into a scouting vill, which I kind of I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot, actually. Getting some extra scouting in here can always be extremely helpful. Now... As far as the player's elo goes, I am looking for it right now. We do have Walter Wanderley coming in at 1564 currently, as current as AOE Zone or AOE2.net is. And uh, he's peaked a little over the 1600 mark. We have a scout teen vill for low APM as well. He could find some of those sheep, which is always helpful. And another boar being brought in for Walter. Could be another boar in the south. We just have to wait and see. Uh, and then low APM, IBMI currently sitting at a 1672. He's peaked just over 1700 as well. And of course, that is if this profile is up to date. I don't really know, but nonetheless, we'll see how everything shakes out. Two boars so far over here to the one boar, and the food income has been kind of problematic here. He'll be able to keep this running. He will move out as a Portuguese player. He's going to move out for a mill, which is quite nice. But obviously, it is something that we'll have to uh, pay attention to if he goes on to the berries. He has one mill on the berries now, but I think he wants to hunt for the faster food income. In that free wood is always nice. Nonetheless, game one, best of three here. Uh, if you did miss the quarterfinals cast before this, uh, definitely worth a watch. The hell of a set. 
and I hope you enjoy. That said, however, currently, that is into the quarterfinals, and soon to be the semifinals. We have one more quarterfinals to cast for the 1300 bracket. After that, we will simply have the... 1700 bracket moving towards the quarterfinals as right now this is the round of 16. Oh, so many sets have been casted already though. It's actually kind of mind blowing to be honest. I have casted so many sets, it's been a ton. Uh, but I counted them out here yesterday and I only had 20 sets or 19 sets left to cast, and that was before casting today so. We're, we're on the, the downward slope of numbers of casts that need to be done. I do have one player who uh, is in the UK that is interested in co-casting, which is awesome. I will try to get him in for something soon. Um, today, obviously, it was a little bit too last minute for that to happen due to uh, the fact that I really didn't plan to do this all that much at the moment. So... It is what it is. Uh, no loom for either player. Both players are going to be going for a fight. No. We will see this run. And he's just going to kill these deer and make this less efficient here. Might end up taking some of this for himself. And it will be stone for our Portuguese player. As he's looking to push this away yet again. And this is actually great. He's going to probably come back and kill this one as well. These villas do have 30 food on them. These villas have a little bit left, and he will choose to fight this, and there's a weak vill, and oh, Walter is going to lose that weak vill. The Berber speed doesn't come into play, obviously, and this will show the stone. You will see the stone here. Loom is coming in now, but Walter already has it, and the vill goes down too, so each player gets a vill kill. It's actually quite good. Uh, but Feudal Age coming in faster here for Walter, as he will turn with two Vills and try to do some more damage here. This has been good, good idle time, good value, and uh, high a or low APM here, not on his way up just yet. It's actually huge news. He does have Loom now, and he's going to have to run from these deer here, but this has been great value, great value actually. A lot less food income has been available. And we do have a barracks. Ooh. These guys going crazy. This was sighted as well. So the barracks was seen. Walling up over here. He kind of is expecting an attack over here. Has low APM found the town center? He has not. So honestly, I don't, I don't think he knows. He probably thinks his opponent's over here. This was interesting. It could be a surprise. Um, meanwhile, of course, the berries will provide wood and food here for low APM. But he will actually retreat from the berries and return home. He will wall up. There's going to be some berries down here he can take. That boar was taken. Didn't see if it was Walter. I assume as much. Blacksmith archery range. Now, the time for damage to be done is going to be very limited, I think. But low APM, I don't think he has the resources to click up to for Castle Age with 25 pop play. So actually, I think Walter's in the better position right now. Up faster. He's going to have archers. He's going to get fletching at some point. He should cancel. He does. Needs the food, though, now. Doesn't have the food. But he will be getting fletching soon. And this food is gone now. Hmm. What is low APM's plan? He's on stone heavily early. He's not on gold yet. Lots of gold under his potential area. More archers. Food income. Nicely moving out for more mills here. Walter needs to send these in, though. He needs to send them in. He really does. We see Town Watch has come in, and yet he still doesn't know where he is. He's scouting with the sheep. He's confused. He has no idea his opponent is over here yet, I think. 
How many archers is he waiting for? Walter is getting fletching. There'll be four archers. There'll be a market. We'll wait for the fifth archer, and then he should move out immediately. He is on the move. Now, this is being spotted. It is a spearman in defense. So, low APM, going for a spearman. The gold vills will have to run. There's some food vills out here that will likely have to move within the walls. There will be an immediate tower placed on the stone here, which is actually good because he's under a lot of danger here. And actually, villagers are coming. Villagers are coming. Fletching is in. Where will this situation happen? He's just going to retreat for now. Defensive archery range behind this. Spearman does go down. Archers will move to the south. We're looking at this with a little bit of blindness, but that's okay. Villagers, where are we going, villagers? All right, we're going to drop a tower here. That's actually a marvelous tower. It might still deny some of this. I think another tower here could be optimal. Will be another black. <laughs> will be a blacksmith and an archery range here. And he's gonna be, he's gonna get in. He's gonna go in. That's his plan. He wants to get in here. Archers are headed back this way. We do see some uh, things happening here. This has not been scouted. Behind this, though, the eco is looking very interesting. A lot on food. A lot of, in fact, things spread out. A spearman over here. Eventually that could have been seen. I guess this is, there's nothing up here. It's just uh, scouts. More archers not in production. He does get in here, but will choose to just turn around. And the uh, building of that stable is going to be seen immediately. So... That is something. Outpost will go down. Outpost it down here. I wonder, though, does he have Town Watch? I don't know if he does. I think he does. Seeing quite a bit here. These fields will have to go somewhere. Archers moving around, trying to find more damage. Walling this in is nice. He puts his archers in there. And maybe he's not going to produce anymore. Walter's actually getting kind of close to being able to click to the next age here, to be honest. <gasps> oh no, these vills are so dead. The archers just need to pop out. They will run. They will survive. And now the tower's just going to be walled in properly. Market here. He could potentially buy his way to the next stage. Scouts continue, or one scout being added though. As he's gonna wall these in. Does he see this? He does now. And that is not going to be good though. That veil will go down. He's going to run with that veil. He's sending the archers over. Scout is gonna lose too much valuable HP here. Eh, does it though? He could be fine. He's not going to be able to use it now. He's not paying attention. There's action all across the map here. Market has not been abused. More scouts in production. Walter could potentially buy his way up to the next stage. Would need to do so quickly though. As low APM. Buys food. Doesn't sell the, the wood though. And it's not up yet. This villager is still alive. We'll go down finally. And there's the market abuse. Walter clicks up first. Some interesting walls happening here. And there's the click for low APM. So both players on their way to the next stage. Vision around the map though. We do see a lot of things here for Walter. And then we don't see so much here. We see what's going on here, but that's really it. So this is going to be interesting. Stable, spears, everything moving out here. He's going to wall this up in defense. Probably going to be seeing a castle here. Uh, going to choose to not finish this wall. We'll finish walling this up. Interesting choices being made here. Castle age will be faster, however. Now these archers and units find their way over here, which they very well could, especially considering the skirms are here. 
Could be bad. Could be a lot of ills over here. Same with the back here, obviously. This is uh, all open and there's eco all over the place. Very messy Nomad Hubs game for game number one. And we even see some stone being purchased here. As he's definitely wanting to get a castle up. I'm wondering if he's going to place it here. Could be reasonable. Oh, that's that archer's not going to make it very far. Not even going to get a shot off at this rate. It's one off, but I don't think it actually hit. Castle Age is in first. Forward Siege Workshop right next to this, though. I don't like that so much. And these scouts get in, and they will find damage. One villager goes down. There's the castle. And I thought we were going to see... Will he see this? He should see this. There's still a hole here. There's a lot of commitment onto this castle, though, and there's skirms and defense, so this castle should go up. The archers move in. We do have a knight in here as well, so villagers could go down. A couple villas already lost. All things considered, the castle will go up. Three villas go down, though. Not the greatest. Siege Workshop, not going to be in the greatest spot either now, though. So all things considered, not that bad. Now, there are no additional town centers for either player just yet. You just take this mill out, so he can't see what he's coming for next, right? Very interesting game number one. We'll see the Manganel head this way. He will look to put some pressure on somewhere. We'll see a monk, though. We'll see night production as well. Oregon guns, and we do see a second town center. But this is spotted, so that will be seen. There's a lot of things happening over here, though. So will he go for that is a question that will have to be asked later. Economically, it will be a second town center now added behind this over here. And this is on both stone and gold. The Oregon guns will come and try to be annoying here. That is finally taken out. The Manganels will still be good here against the Oregon guns. At least for the time being. On to castles. They're on stone, fully up there. Monastery added behind. The wood line is really the worst position here. I think we need a town center up here on the wood. Secure more of that, potentially. But low APM is on a much lower villager count here. The second TC was later, and obviously more damage was taken here by him. Got some knights, some mangonels, really, not really a lot of production. A monk going to be coming into play here. And these, these organ guns, I don't think we'll really find a whole lot of damage here, to be honest. Or we'll be taking a town center way up here in the west corner. Uh, that will actually be fine. He'll be able to secure some more gold, not that he needs it. Uh, and we're going to have to deal with this. Should be relatively easy to do. He does have Sanctity coming in for those monks, but it's really not the end of the world. And this will all get seen, and he will be forced to retreat here, really. Nothing more he can really do. That spearman not going to cause any damage. We'll get got in. One relic collected already for Walter. And he's got 12 on stone. Forward Siege Workshop over here. Probably going to see a castle over here, though. I guess it will probably turn into an Imperial Age race. Organ guns are going to pop over here. They will be able to kill a Vil. Not even a question, really. If it survives, it would be surprising. I don't think he's paid attention to this. Really don't think so. There's a relic here in the south corner. Has either player seen that? No, I don't think so. Nope, so that won't be a relic probably collected. Redemption! So it's going to be a monk play with redemption. I'm sorry, redemption. Yeah, Berbers get redemption. Uh, kind of surprised we're seeing that. As this pikeman, or this spearman, should not have got this kill, but he's going to get a kill here. And that's always awkward. And we see gold being taken here. These bills have moved on. These organ guns are kind of getting up there in number. Monk numbers, not that grand. 
but there's enough stone in the bank for Walter to drop his own castle. And we see the knights gonna get some damage there and even some kills, it's not, not great. And we see the mangonels going for some kills. As, oh man, delete the knights! Oh, there's so much friendly fire going on here. Yeah, it's not been pretty. Not pretty at all. Some question marks come up. I think he's confused as what he was trying to convert. Zero conversions. <laughs> Eleven, don't worry. Ah. Alright, some, some interesting chatter between these two. Don't think that Walter is too worried about zero conversions, really. Or maybe he was mad he didn't get any night conversions? I don't know. Um, this is not live, but these are wrecks that have not been seen, Huggy, so... Technically it's live! To the world! <laughs> Unless you were spectating this game. Yeah, Walter's popped in, yeah, I know. I don't cast any sets live. Uh, two reasons. One, uh, this is a working man's tournament, and uh, I give people a week to play these games per round, so it takes like a month to finish the bracket, uh, so kind of is what it is there. Um, I prefer it that way, though. I like being able to do wrecks. Live games take so much longer to cast, and though I am not a full-time uh, streamer, and, I mean, I could stream probably more than I do. It's really annoying to sit around and wait for people to, uh, start their games. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Like, I guarantee, like, the time for the strategy and stuff is great. Um, but it is what it is. Did I mention that low APM high... He's a 2E rated player, and I am 15 rated. Yeah, he's a... Uh, I don't know what you mean by 2E here. He's like a 7... He's peaked at 1730. I said the ELOs earlier, and Walter's currently in mid-15s, peaked just over 1600. Is that what you're saying? Walter's stream sniping confirmed, no. But these, these uh, raids are going to do wonders here with the Camel Archers. The Siege has done great work. I've been a very good game here, very interesting. Oh, yeah, the seeds? Yeah, I didn't bring the seeds up. Walter is the second seed in the tournament. Or no, sorry, low APM, high BMI, low is the two seed, while Walter, I think, is like the 15th or 11th seed or something like that, yeah. No, I didn't mention that. Uh, it's a hell of a, hell of a game here, though. Imp is the necessity for both players now. Uh, Walter just barely scraping out on the elo here. Or the, sorry, the eco. Castle number two up here. Now one thing that is kind of interesting, we do see some camel archers on the map, but we don't see any more stone being taken here. So he does have some. Yeah, Huggy's going up against this funny liquid, right? So, yeah, he is the number one seed. <laughs> Imp first for Walter. Uh, that could be huge. And the conversion? Not going to come in. I actually think that redemption might have hurt you here. I, I respect the decision to go redemption. And I think it was a fine choice, of course. But obviously, the way this has played out, it didn't really help you. Leading that villager doesn't want that to be converted. Imp now on the way here as well. What a game. What a game! I would love to practice some more games, but I'm not really a player anymore. Uh, at least for the next couple weeks. <laughs> I actually played uh, my first 1v1. I actually, I played three 1v1s since the tournament has started. That's all that I've been able to do. So... <laughs> Maybe sometime. Maybe sometime. Villager down! 
need more towers. Hitch, there was, there was, there was some towers in this one, Hitch. Do it or not. Bloodlines, wheelbarrow in Imperial Age for low APM on the way. Bloodlines now on the way, plus plus one defense, and Imperial Age will be in faster here. A lot more stables coming up over here, though. This is the real question. What are we going to see as we see infantry upgrades coming in? Yeah, after? That's interesting. Nice conversion up here at some point, it looks like. Um, It's really awkward. This castle is not going to be in the greatest position, I guess. So maybe he just wants to go into infantry because he thinks his opponent will go into infantry. I know. He will have 35 seconds or so to get Trebs out. Will they be fast enough is the question. We're all dying to know. The organ guns are being annoying back here. The last four organ guns on the map. They may not escape for much longer. There's a monk here too, so maybe we'll see a conversion attempt. Trebs! We have chemistry coming for a low APM as well. As these organ guns are just really being annoying. And the light cav upgrade already in. Cavalier for Walter. Oh. Okay. Interesting. He's going for Cavalier now. Kind of curious as to why you're not going for Camels here with Berbers. Uh, especially since... I don't know. I guess you haven't seen much of military, right? So... Trebs. University. The Treb over here. Not over here yet. No defensive building upgrades. Repairs coming in on this castle, so we will try to save this castle. Um, the Light Cav have found some damage here. Cavalier not yet in production for Walter. No, they are in production, just barely, though. Now, there's a lot of stone in the bank for Walter. Not so much stone in the bank here for low APM. He has limited gold, too. Walter has a lot better resources right now. As the repairs will come in on this Treb, but will it be enough? He's actually targeting the Treb. Oh, it's such a mistake. He's targeting the Trebs. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this at all. I don't like this one bit. The Light Cav probably doing some damage still over here as they continue right in, but now we see Cavalier in response. Uh, the Trebs are being targeted here, which is not ideal. And, I mean... He's going to be able to repair those, it looks like. And this castle is costing gold. He runs out of gold yet again. He needs to buy gold again. He does so. He buys a lot more stone, but it's already gone. This castle doesn't look like it's going to survive as the fourth Treb joins the party here for Walter. And the repairing is just costing so much here. And the castle's going to go down anyways. I'm kind of curious why he wants to keep this castle up so badly, to be honest, but he just spent a ton on it. And we've got some light cav over here, which <laughs> some brick walls coming in here, but that castle likely to go up still. It's a bit awkward, though, across the map here, as Trebs over here will likely go down for both. Uh, this bombard cannon's in here. One conversion gonna come in. Bit awkward here, but I think Walter's gonna be very happy with his position. We're repairing a uh, house here. <laughs> Redemption! Oh, and it's in, and that treble will go down. And this is starting to spiral out of control here. Low APM has moved some bills out, some things going left and right, but GG, well played. WPO? <laughs> WPO? Walter! Takes game number one here. This is the best of three, folks. It's currently set up for a best of five on the scoreboard due to uh, my casting earlier. But we'll fix that in a moment. Um, Low APM. I don't I don't know what happened here to him in game one. It wasn't pretty. Things spiraled out of control here. I guess he went into Light Cav. I don't really know why. Light Cav isn't really the best option when you have so much gold on this map. So much stone. But Walter takes game number one here, folks. Takes game number one. I will adjust the scoreboard really quickly so it's a uh, best of three. And then we're going to pull up the draft. 
There we go. And we will see a Portuguese defeat and a Berber victory. So we will head to Battlegrounds, Low APM's map here. Um, Walter says he's so hyped that he forgot to say GG. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Battlegrounds, game two. We'll have Lithuanians, Huns, and Koreans left for low APM. Walter will have Malians, Khmer, and Magyars left for him. Let me load us into game number two here, folks. Just give me a moment. Appreciate you all joining me, by the way. Been a good stream thus far. Cast the best of five quarterfinals for the 1300 bracket. Now this set. And we'll see Walter again in yellow with the Malians. Let's see if we've seen oh so much of. Kind of in interesting. We're seeing some bans on some sieves that you wouldn't think we'd see bans on anymore. But we have been. So it's interesting. And then Huns for low APM here. Probably looking to go very heavy into the scout aggression. Obviously, both sieves have great, great balance to themselves. I like them all quite a bit. Um, Malians, though, obviously, I would I would favor in this matchup, especially if it goes into the later stages. Their camels are quite nice, especially uh, against the Huns. Even even uh, more so interesting will be how this game shakes out. But nonetheless. This is a round of 16 matchup. The winner of this will advance onward to the quarterfinals. Uh, like Walter said, he is uh, he is the underdog in this set and was so hyped about winning game one he forgot to GG, <laughs> which is fun, it's kind of funny and hilarious. Um, but I would be excited too. I would be very excited too if I was in the same situation, right? So. Uh, we do see that low APM is not scouting the middle. Neither is Walter, though. So both players lacking some scouting in the middle. Now, the reason I don't like this is you could potentially find yourself some extra herdables in the middle and always come back to push deer later or simply just head out to the middle to mill deer later. I'll have to wait and see how everything shakes out, though. But both players doing the same thing, so not really an advantage or disadvantage for either player at this point. Wood lines. Gonna be back here. A little bit closer to the wood line here for low APM. Not a big concern, really, but always something that I like to look at. A little farther away over here, but could potentially be easier to wall this up, to be honest. Uh, and we already see... Some houses and palisades. Is Walter gonna try to wall this whole side up here? Wait and see why you put a palisade there otherwise. Or maybe he's just thinking long term. The villa was already there, so what the hell, why not? Alright, and then low APM to the center. He's looking for some deer. And looks like he's gonna probably mill this. He will do so indeed. Some of the herdables will be coming back here as Walter's found a few of those. And all things considered, we have a very interesting game in front of us, right? I don't know. Uh, other than Walter, who's in chat, and if low APM is here, please don't respond to my question. Which Civ would you prefer, guys? Malians or Huns on this map? I personally love Huns, but in this matchup, I'm thinking that I would prefer Malians. Walter will mill at home. So he's looking to just go to the berries. He has found a few of these herdables. Still has 500 food on those. Plus he's finishing up the boar. Could always push a deer. Huns on the map. Malians in the matchup. Yeah, I mean, I like Huns on this map as well. Uh, as do others. We have seen it a few times already. Uh, but wait and see how everything shakes out. <laughs> Low APM finds some, some geese, and those were quickly be taken from him. Loom, and then he'll be clicking up. He's going to fourth drop. He's sending more into wood. This is 100% scout, Sente. And a little behind this will be a 20 pop up. Loom coming in. So a 19 pop compared to a 20 pop build. 
not the end of the world, of course. Both players are probably going to be happy with their uptimes. It's not a huge difference. So we'll get spotted here. So he was going to potentially wall that up, but chooses not to. This in the center, however, let's take a quick look here. Has it been scouted? It has been scouted, so he will see that there. He'll know what he's going for. We do see a terrible mistake happening. <laughs> Doesn't lose it, though, thankfully. It loses HP, though, which still can be huge. And we are seeing some walls up here as well. So, barracks on the front here. Now going for another mill back home on the berries. And we see this scout has lost some HP. And potentially need to get out of here. The walls are not completed over here yet. But he will see the walls are coming in. And there's a hole. Okay, he's going to close the gap. Very good. And he's going to be fully walled here. What is Walter going for? He will drop a stable. No spearmen coming out just yet. Behind this, we will see Feudal Age come in. And Morville's going towards the front. Yep, there will be a stable as well. Nothing too surprised. Double bit coming for both. Pretty identical play. The only real difference here is a little bit of idle TC time. And one player went up one pop sooner. I think, based on what I can see here, walls look good up to the town center. And he's going to go ahead and put a house there as well. Now the real question is how long can this stay here and will he be able to sustain it? We don't see any spearmen. We see scouts staying in here and we actually see a scout in the eco. Maybe looking to just be annoying. Is he going to garrison and try to kill this? He will. He'll get away though. Very nice work for low APM. He will survive with this. Now, scout numbers are 3 to 2 right now. And the scouts are in better shape here for Walter. Low APM will continue with production. It does produce faster here. So we should be pretty happy with that. The fight, though, that scout will go down and some more HP will be lost. So, again, the numbers still in favor of Walter, but he's going to run into a spearman. Nope, just in time moves it. Uh, that deer gets cleaned up. These vills will have to move onward. He's just going to keep going for the hunt. So I like this. One player utilizing the center control. One player not moving out from his hometown center. Uh, eight farms to six farms. More walls coming up here for low APM. Scouts return home. Will be sent out yet again. It's kind of a path of position from here. A little bit extra idle TC time though here for Walter, so all in behind by a vill. The scouts for Walter though, moving in. And there are no spearmen here in defense. The scouts and the spears are across the map in the middle, and we do have a spear in defense here. The quick walls are in. Villagers will be in danger. One villager likely going to die here as it will go down. Potentially, that will be the only one that gets killed, however. Still, that evens out the economic side of things. The scouts will return back to try to deal with this. And Walter likely just going to run. And both players adding more farms. 16 here. Now only 10 here, but we do have... Four on a deer still, which is always nice. And only one spearman. Another spearman in production, another scout. Shifting on to gold now is Walter. Gold was also just shifted on to here for low APM, as he will continue to try to wall up. The spearman will come into play here. The scout numbers not much better. And he's actually going to pick a fight here. Ends up killing a spear, not losing a unit, which is nice, but I don't know how much longer he can do that for. He takes the hill, though, and this scout is the original scout, still not attacking. Walter will uh, just sit at home now. We'll wait. We'll wait. 
and see what happens. More houses coming up. Spearmen and scouts still in production behind this. When will we see the fight is the question. Spearmen getting a nice hit for free. Behind this, we have more production in the scouts, not spears, though. Resources are fairly similar at the moment, but again, 18 farms with horse collar, and we actually have 12 here and no horse collar for our Hun player. That could hurt a little bit. A blacksmith being added, though, and the full wallets are going to be coming up here. Spearman numbers are better for Walter. Military numbers in total, though, are better for low APM. Forging going to be coming in here. But once Forging comes in, can be a little bit of a different fight. But we're also going to have Bloodlines. So, kind of an interesting position. We have low APM investing more into this. And I'm never really sure, sure if that's going to be a good option. It can be. But Walter will be clicking up behind this, and he is walled at home. This fight is not one that you want to be taking here. Another stable being added. And Walter will be clicking up here very soon. Doesn't need another building. He'll be fine. The fight comes in. The spearmen get a few nice hits in there. And scout numbers are going to be... 7 to 4, but Castle Age is on its way in, and realistically, this is going to be quite easy to defend. This is the weakest point here. Low APM invested a lot more into this age. Can he be rewarded? I think if he finds damage, can be good. If he doesn't find damage, it will be bad. Bloodline's now on its way in. And that Spearman will get the hill and get some nice hits, even get a kill here. Plus one defense going to be coming in. Another stable going to be coming down. But the problem now is these farms, not horse collar, are going to need receded. And now low APM is not on the way up. So we're going to have to see if he abuses the market and tries to get there himself. Bloodlines comes in. Doesn't have foraging. Not going to take that fight unless he has to. There is a market. So low APM could buy his way to the next stage. He's going to be significantly behind here, though. As now foraging will come in as well, and then the scouts will have the same upgrades. Food income behind this for Walter will be more sustainable, as a lot of these farms that have even been here have yet to run out. Scout numbers still looking good, but again, scouts soon to be against what I assume will be a camel switch. Not going to be great. And there's a hole. Okay, there's a hole. This is good. Wait, he deleted. He deleted a scout. <laughs> Walter deleted a scout in panic. Now, uh, these scouts will take a fight. More needs to come. The Vils will dive here. Hounds are getting some damage in. Oh, this is painful, though. Camels are coming. Villager numbers will go down. Walter will fall behind significantly here in the eco count here, it looks like. Camels are going to be here, though, and this will get cleaned up. It's not that bad. He needs to send everything forward for military and try to do some damage himself, but obviously he knows that the opponent is pretty well walled. will be another town center. That was quite the hole. It's really hard to say. It's really hard to see. It wasn't too bad. Four villagers have gone down, though. And the camels were seen, and the pikemen will be the option here. But honestly, not too surprising, I suppose. Camel numbers, though, likely not going to be able to find any damage. And he should probably not produce any more light calf being added here. On to stone. I don't know if that was on purpose, but honestly, the Gabettos could be great if he does see a lot of spearmen. There's a hole. There's a hole, and he's going to close it. He will lose a vill here. But, uh, Obviously, not the end of the world. So a little bit of revenge here. Might even have an overchop back here at some point. I have to come back and check that. But two TCs to the one. So the eco difference, really not that bad. It's uh, 42 to 38. At the moment, a second town center. Nope. He elects to not add that town center. Going to add it on this side. Yes, he will. And all things considered, 
Eco should still be better here for Walter. I would love to see a town center in the middle to secure some more gold from both players, but uh, neither player is interested in that. Pikeman, we have some knights being added in. What will Walter end up going for is question. He pulled those villagers off of uh, the stone, by the way. Whole cost do a lot of AP and yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but I mean, all things considered, you shouldn't have been that rattled, rattled. I think because you're doing fine here, you're finding value again, great value found, and uh, you already have the villagers lead actually after this raid. That's actually quite nice. Only a few more bills. The knights are going to come in again, though, potentially. That's not ideal. More knights of your own being produced now. Actually, you actually you close the gap so they can't even get in, so that's actually even better. And the camels will simply... Oh, no. Yeah, they will come back, I guess. Didn't think they were going to for a minute there. All things considered, it's fairly fairly close game yet again. Monastery. That, that's not good for that villager. Villager will go down. All the camels are coming back, though. Uh, market going to be coming up here. Monastery obviously didn't come down. Lots of pikemen on the map, though. will be hard to engage here. Eventually, he will just uh, pull everything back. Potentially go on to stone. Who knows? Three town centers to two, though. That will really start to change how the pace of the game goes. We have a few bills on stone, but they will be pulled from that as well. Another player really interested in a castle of any sort. Wheelbarrow, and we will have iron casting on the way in for Walter. He's looking to uh, get some damage in, but he'll see a town center there. And the pikemen are coming in here, so... Composition-wise right now, it's looking a bit rough. Those pikemen somehow didn't get a single hit in there. I guess they were targeting a bill, and he'll add the third town center now. That one will also be on stone, but we'll secure the side of the map for him as well. We see some wood being purchased, but why? Farms? Monastery? I guess he wants to go for a mon oh, monastery. has already been... Stop, stop building that, apparently. I don't know what that was about. Now he's buying more. He's going for another one? Is that what we're going to see? Another town center? Not sure. Not sure. Forward Siege Workshop over here, though. And I think this for Huns will be really good. Add Meganels. Let's go Pike Siege. Continuing to try to raid. Grabbing the relics behind this is a nice move. Let's we'll secure that economy for a while. And yeah, this uh, knight not going to find any damage, but again, what what do we have here for Walter, and what is he going to be able to do here? That is the question. He will start to shift on to stone. I think stone and Gabetto could be quite good here, with what we've seen thus far. And ooh, a nice pickoff! A very nice pickoff. These uh, light cav, though, not going to survive for much longer, doesn't look like. Did pick off a monk, though. And... <laughs> We have a wolf attacking a camel, that's not going to go well for the wolf, but, uh, who knew? Oh, no, 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 this is not a good town center now that the siege workshop is there. He doesn't see it, of course. Uh, this will be seen, though, and this, this is ugly. This town center is not going to go up. Manganel going to move in here and get some vil kills. Now gets deleted, needs to delete the farms as well. And the siege pushes on in the base here. Walter, oh, oh, okay. 
massive stone dying. Gonna try and forget the castle up here. Castle could be good. Monk should go for a conversion here at some point. I think it was just grabbed and clicked over here though. Barracks gonna be up. He sees the castle coming up. Not great. Obviously an interesting the position to be in, but you know, Tibetos could be on the optional menu here. Economically, Walzer does have the lead at the moment, and we will see Barracks is being added. So, Walter, could he go into Champ Scarrow here? Could be possible. Could be possible, but Gabetto is also going to be an option. Quite an interesting situation to find yourself in. In a siege workshop here, Gabetto will come out. I don't know where it's going. It's gonna. It's here, I guess. A little awkward. Gabetto, though, will find great value against Pikeman, and the castle will also be able to help out in that endeavor. And then the Gabettos could easily deal with the uh, Manganels. See a Pikeman get converted. Meanwhile, some bills out here not going to find any damage. Walter is abusing the market, going for outposts left and right. And I think Walter is about to click to the Imperial Age. We will see the Man at Arms switch come in behind this. Pikeman numbers are getting diminished here, but he hasn't invested any more into that for a little bit. And this is a very awkward transition time. Man at Arms will be in production as well. The Walter's kind of promising himself to a full Castle Age play with this at the moment. You see a Manganel here, and it might, might trade off pretty nicely. Nope, not exactly. Meadows starting to take numbers down. Another Pikeman converted. Oh, but on the other side we have some raids. Mostly Pikeman, looks like, and one at night. One reel goes down, nothing too crazy, but Imperial Age is on its way. The Gabettos will snipe one, will likely just run in close and snipe the other one. See another conversion on a Vil. As, oh, there must be a waypoint situation here. Maybe he sent these forward and helps to build something? I don't know. Another castle on the hill here. I have not seen... There's the castle coming up for our Hun player. So he will go there. These knights will uh, find some damage here. A lot of barracks. Eco lead for Walter is three, but he also has hand cart, and his opponent only has wheelbarrow. So let's wait and see how this all shakes out. These camels will clean up the knights here. Gabetto's over here will clean up a lot of this, and Walter will be able to come out for the gold. All of this villager, and it looks like more villagers potentially could go down to scouts. As the Gretos are running forward here, this could be quick and dirty if he can, if he sees it. Will he see it? He will. And a lot of villas could go down here. Castle should still go up though. Not as many as I thought would go down. Only two villas go down. The conversion, camel gets converted over here. But there's more camel here. And Imperial Age is in. Castle is up as well. Light Cav here already upgraded for Walter, so he will deal with the scouts here. Needs to clean up the stables. More stables over here. Gabettos and camels moving forward. Cav Archer switch incoming though. At least that's what it looks like. Uh, yeah, Walter. I don't. I don't blame you. It's a bit of confusing game. Or as compositions. Again, I feel like we've seen some awkward composition games as of late. I mean, realistically, you have to all in now and try to kill Vils. That's really all you have to do. But obviously, that's easier said than done. Usually, it's a lot more difficult. <laughs> so, Gabetto's diving. I mean, this could be really nice, though. You do have the villager lead here. Just a, a little bit of a odd place to get 
attacked from, and you're not going to find much value here. As cav archers will come out, that will be a problem now. I think you just have to go for camels after seeing these archery ranges and seeing some of this go down. Maybe not even that big of a deal to just go full camel and then go to champ scar later. Um, this castle is going up. This farming eco has been found. Another castle though. No trebs yet. Here comes Imperial Age. Oh, they consider we have quite an interesting game on our hands here, folks. Quite an interesting one indeed. More stables over here, I like it. At this point, you're just trying to raid him to death now. Unfortunately, you're losing camels to uh, farm. <laughs> um, this stable's been kind of annoying, but otherwise, nothing too bad. These scouts are coming in. There is a castle here, though. These scouts are actually just passing. A blacksmith? Is that a misclick? Or we lose a blacksmith over here? No, we still have it. Cav Archer numbers are starting to grow. All upgrades needed for these, except for chemistry. I don't think I've seen Parthian tactics come in. Oh, long swords would be beautiful. I mean, he is going into Champ Scarls, and I think that's a fine choice as well. Potentially just Champ Scarl Halb. Wait, the blacksmith was deleted in a market with that. Well, the market was needed. He did lose a market. I'm building another blacksmith at home. I guess he just can't find his blacksmith. No, he's got resource. I'm so confused. <laughs> Hotkey issue, I guess. Stables up galore. Yeah, I guess since you're seeing a lot of cav archers, your options are likely Champ Scarl and Halb? Or, sorry, Champ Scarl. Uh, no, I don't know what your options are. Camel? Or Champ Scarl Hussar, I guess? Either way, it's very rough because now you're limited on gold. Not a ton of gold. How did that get there? Oh, this light cab is getting in here and being annoying. No upgrades on the, uh, no fletching or anything like that. Walling up here is nice, I like this. Cab archer numbers, though, are getting out of control here. 22 of them, and 7 more in production. Gonna get some bill kills here. Heavy camel, I think, is a fine option. I love the stone walls, actually. I don't think I've seen that much on this map, to be honest. The problem is, though, his economy... Uh, there's Parthian, there's Thumbring, there's Cam... Okay, so these will be all but fully upgraded because we need, uh... Heavy CA, right? Perimba Light Cav would do... I, I agree, I think Perimba Light Cav could do quite well. Uh, this is a raid, though, that we can't afford here, I feel like, but... And again... Tough. Military numbers are a lot lower here. Difficult to defend. The heavy camels actually will tank a lot of this. Uh, and actually, it could take a very nice exchange here, but obviously, a low APM has realized that. Problem with cab archers, you kind of have to pay attention to them. Every time he stops, he's going to lose more, right? Don't think we haven't seen for him becoming right No, it's Only 7 plus 2 attack right now. This is a big attack coming in. But there's a longsword in there slowing down the escape. <laughs> and the cab archer numbers have reached critical mass here. 30 plus. This is a nice treb. Trying to kill this, but I don't know how long that's going to survive. Did some great raids. This this stable has uh, been annoying here for you, for sure. And uh, the Gameto is not going to be able to stop this. The castle will go up. Cab archers will find the hill. And I think that low APM's just got the better positioning and better unit composition here. As well as the military numbers, I mean, just constantly getting some pickoffs here and there is nice. This is not going to be able to be saved for very long. Villagers will, uh, I guess, it's not being pursued. It's going to be Halb and Cav Archers. Not heavy CA, but still Cav Archers. 
and there's no raids going to the other side of the map right now. This was cleaned up immediately. Path was kind of preventing it. I think we're going to game three here, folks. This castle is uh, gonna get tripped down potentially. It moves. Oh boy, it moves. It will go down here. Or will it? Uh, it's so close. Yes, it won't. But cable numbers have been depleted. Oh, the ram? Is the ram really gonna move in here and get this kill? It's gonna take the hill. Gets a hit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There he gets the kill. Castle will go down. Do light cav get through, but there are halberdier chasing, and yep, GG comes in. GG comes in, indeed. Well played, well played. We will go to the draft. Check the draft. See where we're headed next. And we see a Hun victory over Malian. So we have Khmer and Magyars left. For Walter and then low APM will have Lithuanians and Koreans left and we will head to forests for the game three decider here G G G G G G all right forest is upcoming load in all right game number three the decider match here in this best of three we will see Walter Wanderly here with the Khmer in yellow and in the purple. We have low APM with the Lithuanians. It's come down to this, folks. It's come down to this. What sieve do I think is better here? Lithuanians or Khmer? I like both sieves a lot. Uh, Lithuanians, I think, might have the slight edge here, especially if we get a relic or two. And, you know, there's relics all around the map. So, that is a possibility. However, we can have some absolutely insane timings. Could get up really fast. We did see in another set recently, we had a barracks built before a stable. That delayed the stable. May have spiraled into... Uh, worse game for that individual. Uh, we'll see what happens here, though. Walter has taken game one here off of low APM in Nomad Hubs. And then low APM comes back to force the decider here on Battlegrounds. So quite interesting. Wait and see what happens. Both players are going to be chopping wood nearby. Uh, this... This uh, will likely be an aggressive game here since the middle is not going to be as contemplated for attack. You could always attack from this way. Uh, a lot of re the starts we start, you know, player starts here or here. Vice versa, here and here. So, very nice to see a close generation this time around. And we'll see what happens. Boar number one in for Walter. Already seeing uh, what will probably be a wall up right across here. Makes it easy with the forest there. And then Boar is going to be under the TC for low APM as well. Now, we will see Walter head to the middle. So likely he will try to bring in a single Boar or up to three or four at this point. Who knows? Because people are crazy and do lots of crazy things with that. But, nonetheless, we'll have to wait and see. I'm very curious to see the scouting here as well. Walter, not even concerned. And he will only grab one more because there's only one to be seen. And then on the opposite side, we do see a check over here for low APM. We'll head to the middle now without any scouting in the middle for a boar. So... He'll have to find that, but likely will be able to. And where is Walter headed here? Is he going to see this? He is going to see this. He's seen this, so he knows his opponent has to be over here. He's not going to try to lame them. Or is he? Is he just waiting? He's doubling back. And we have a lame attempt. The blocks are in. Oh, oh, the, this vill. This vill is dead. Oh, the house trick. 
the house trick saves the veil. Now, this is actually really bad, though, because he doesn't have food under the town center. He has one goat left. He's not going to be able to check, take, and he's going to send all the veils. He'll send all the veils. This is a lot of idle time. A lot of idle time here. And he will have to mill the middle. This is not the start that you really want to see happen here. Revenge. That was a great attempt. I mean, great to house wall the, uh, the boar off, obviously. But now this will be spotted. Almost killed the scout. Could have been painful. There is no loom. There's some lower HP bills out here now. Feudal age click. Milling the middle here as well as Walter. Now, there is no barracks yet. This is important. Because if he builds barracks, it could be problematic. It could severely delay the scout production. This is a super quick pop up. 18 pop and he's on his way up. Loom is on the way here and will he have enough food? He will have enough food if he drops off here. But is it going to be a thing? Yeah, he doesn't need the barracks, I know. That's what I'm saying. We saw this come into play on an earlier set. Where someone built the barracks and then subsequently did not have the wood for the stable, which severely slowed down another sub-20 pop build. Not ideal. Feudal Age on its way now, however, for our Lithuanian player. So, he will be walling. He is going to be walling across that side. Doesn't know where his opponent is, though. At least last I checked. Another boar going to be coming in. We will check the scouting. That boar will be killed, no problem. Scouting! He does not know where his opponent is, though he checked over here, and he didn't really check that well. But he's still searching. He sees the stone here. Does he think his opponent is straight across? It'll be interesting to find out. But, mistakes were not made. That will be up quickly. No food under the town center. All the food eco is relying on the boar in the middle. There's a lot of boar in the middle, though. Yeah, Walter has plenty of wood, but he's going to need it. He's going to need to drop some farms, or yeah, that'll work. Another bill onto berries. Any sort of food income is nice. He sees the barracks. He knows there's barracks. How many scouts are needed is the question. He's not going to be able to take this on. Where is the scout? Oh, no. I guess he can just assume that his opponent is over here, over here now. At least I would, but... So far not the case. Farm starting to come in. No horse collar yet. And oh, he, he pulls the vills. So the middle being left open for grabs here. We'll have to shift onto some farms of his own. No farming upgrade for either player just yet. There comes double bid axe. I'd say no eco upgrade for either player as we haven't seen that yet. Walter has two scouts. I don't know what he's waiting for. He's Gone up so quickly, there comes the scouts, and we will see what here. Will he find damage? He knows where his opponent is. Spearman, though, in defense. And really, I guess he's just playing these with defensive scouts? Seems awkward. Maybe he just doesn't have the numbers that he would like here. Meanwhile, however, we do see that he finally finds his opponent here, low APM. We were worried he might not, actually. Seen that way. The walls are being heavily dropped here in the front, though. And honestly, these scouts don't go forward soon. It could be a problem. And following up with an archery range here. Low APM, welcome, welcome. Uh, sorry, man. <laughs> uh, just casting when I can here. You will see an archery range, but there's no one on gold. He's sending the village to gold now. And wall up this side. Uh, the spearman goes down here. Did kill the scout. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. The villagers are going to be doing damage here, of course, to some more boar. And what are we going here? Scouts? We're housed. The walls are almost up, though. The archer production super late. Double bit X just now coming in. Houses will be coming up, so low APM will be fully walled across the front now. Right, yep, that's, that's that's walled. It's been built a little bit. Uh, but what damage can be done? Looks like we're going to see the wall up at home here for Walter as well. That scout's going to get some 
Uh, really good hits, actually. Gets a kill and another hit. And we'll get more. Oh, man. That's awful. Archery range will be seen. And the archer is out. Bill could even get rid of this deer. Oh, man. A lot of damage there. Uh, behind this though, Eco plus one Vil here for low APM. The walls are coming up for Walter. And a full on wall off is coming up on this side. A very, very far wall up, to be honest. I think closer to the base is a little easily, a little more easily defended. And this wall up to the gold. Should be fine. Lots of bills on gold now. Are we seeing a full archer switch? No. And the scouts will be a surprise. The scouts will be a surprise. And oh, that vill is going to go down. The villagers will have to fight. The scouts need to come back. Uh, he's going to jump into the houses. Not all of them can fit in that house. Though. It'll be three scouts to three scouts. But the damage has now been done. Two villagers have gone down. Lots of idle time in the food eco there. Not in the greatest shape. Some spears went down, sure, but oh no, another vill goes down because he popped out. Oh, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Three villagers killed in the middle there. Only four remaining on the food economy. A blacksmith behind this castle age, though. Coming in as the rebuildings, again, not required. Blacksmith, though, is quite necessary at this point. Needs to get fletchy. The scout numbers will be deteriorated, but archer numbers, she's only up to three. Help it to produce more scouts. Question is, what will be the game plan here? Will we see a boom? Hard to say. Deer still at home in the barracks. Scout numbers continually being added. Scout all the way over here. Pretty much at a loss. Hmm. And we see the archers going to be here with fleshing enough to push away that for now. Castle Age, and, well, some awkward walls, <laughs> but they will be coming down nonetheless. Blacksmith here, stable already, obviously. Walter could be up to the next stage relatively soon. Or, sorry, low APM. Walter's almost up. If he went for the closer wall, it's going to know where the scouts were. I can respect that. Bot Canero, no crossbow upgrade just yet. Double walled behind this, though. And the scouts are going to try to move around. Oh, no, there's a hole. He didn't finish the wall. It's only a few scouts. Not panic just yet. Only four who are low HP. Has to run past the town center. Probably will do so. The attention is here. Knights being added behind this. The scouts are definitely getting in here. That could be ugly. Nice walls there. The two scouts do go down. And some HP being lost here. Not going to get that up, though. We'll have the market behind here. The scouts are here to try to do damage. The wood line is not walled. Well, yeah, okay. well done. Good quick walls. Good quick walls. And some house walls behind this, though. No damage can really be done here. Market not quite up yet either. We have a vill that's out here, and there's actually a hole here. That's a little awkward. Uh, we lost some vills jumping in and out of houses, it seems. Another vill gonna go down? No. Save the vill. Just barely. Just barely saved that villager. Very, very not close. Good though, to have to try to fight that off, I guess, but Castle Age is gonna be here soon. Bloodlines and plus one. Defense coming in. Double stable. Two walls. More walls. More walls. Forward Siege now coming in. Oh, and the scout goes down. Villagers, though, surviving. There's no production here on archers anymore, is there? Siege Workshop is on its way up. 
And the push is coming in. No crossbow just yet. I think crossbow's kind of needed here. Will be another town center. Will be uh, plus one defense knights coming out. Don't know if that will be enough. Bakken arrow is in. Be a forward monastery and a forward house, I guess, for the villagers. And try to chop wood here potentially. Monastery, TC number two, another house will go down. Hanganel's out. Where's he attacking? Did he even get through that one? I think he needs to readjust here. The knights are gonna come over and show themselves. Still only plus one defense, however. Oh, they can't get in. I don't know what damage he can do here other than the fact that the uh, Manganel's gonna be super annoying. Uh, the scouts eventually went down. I don't really know if they did any more damage because we were too busy paying attention to this. Oh. Oh no. The mango. The mango. Save the mango. I can be able to save the mango. One knight does get converted though. Siege workshop here. Uh, these knights shouldn't be able to clean this up. There's enough archers. Maybe not. Another knight pops out. He's not microing them now. Oh no. A lot of archers did go down there. Crossbows, though, I guess not really part of the plan. Nice light cav for scout pop here. Gonna take out the monk. And now the eco's starting to run away here. Walter had the push going on, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Another knight goes down. These units are walking into the town center. Not ideal. Still only one town center to two. Monk, will it get lucky with conversion? It will not. Relic counts zero to zero right now. Things are getting messy. Oh, and a light, or a scout, and now a knight gonna be here killing another vill. 13 villager advantage right now. Military numbers pretty much non-existent for both. Now it's just five knights, or five military to three. And that knight did get another vill as well. Farming numbers for the Khmer is fine. However, I don't know this eco lead really starting to pull ahead here. No conversion there, but just the delete. Probably just gonna add a scout or two. Oh, and this is a brilliant play. He needs to attack before this gets noticed. Then the walls go up behind. If those get in. This could be this could be a GG situation. Not gonna get in though, are they? He's gonna household this for days. Hanging out on the front, monks back and forth, of course. To attack this house, try to get in potentially. Taking the market. Uh, uh, needs another house. All right, he pulls back. He pulls back. Too worried about the push in the front. Oh, Manganel coming forward this way now. He's gonna be fine here, and he's going to attack here. There's no military at home, buildings at home. No military units at home. That villager is likely going to go down. The knights are likely going to be able to get through here. Military over here is not being sent back to deal with this. It will now be sent back and now the scouts will pop and the monks will die. And the push is over here. Oh, uh, this game looks like it's not going to go for Walter here as the Villagers will have trouble saving themselves. The scouts will pop here. They'll go after the Manganel first. No, we'll be one monk. We'll go after the conversions. He's getting the conversions. Oh, self-sabotage though. Manganel kills three friendly fires. Manganel here will go down, but the knights are still in. And the monks were killed by friendly fire. Quite a shame. Gonna get some revenge now on a villager, but nonetheless, the knights are in a lot of damage here. And Eco KD is 
12 to 3, and potentially will be another Vill, and it will be one more Vill. Monks will get conversions here for low APM as well. Another light, or scout cav popping out. Will soon be light cav, huh? Light cav. That's just a scout. I guess it was converted, but it's just a scout, yeah. That's always awkward. And then we have this getting to be problematic here. And I thought, was oh, there a conversion? Back here, and I apparently got in. This is still open, hasn't been closed up. Another town center gonna be added here. It's a very interesting game here, but Walter is falling behind in a way that I don't know if he's gonna come back from here. Eco is a complete mess. 28 on gold. Five, eight on food, five on wood. There's no push in the center. And I think that this game is just lost here. I don't know how Walter can come back. He needs to straighten out this economy. He really is... I don't think he's going to catch up in Vils at this point. The, uh... Units here, still being fine, Danny. Oh, the conversion comes in. Another Vill will go down. Not noticed right away, so the Manganel will go down. Light Cav will come out. He just needs to get one hit here, and this is done for. Repairs are coming in. And there it pops, and there goes the push. He cannot afford another one. Another Monk will go down here. We do have one relic here as well. Night numbers are pretty good. But he's just gonna wall behind. And potentially a conversion will come in. More light cav a Roman out here. And I don't know what Walter can do. He's rewalling over here. Just extremely passive and calm and uh uh, hmm. Based on score, maybe? Yeah, the GG comes in. I think the the really messed up economy and everything really caught up with Walter here. Uh, this raid and this attack over here from low APM was just perfect. Uh, I, I'm confused by the change into knights here. I think we should have just stayed archers. I mean, I, I'll get knights are a lot of fun, but I think you had a good spot with Archer. If you would have had a crossbow, I think that attack could have been a little bit better. But I mean, obviously, uh, low APM with the uh, the comfortability to just uh, sit behind the walls with his own monks, really, really benefiting, and obviously adding those town centers. Uh, very good, of course. And uh, low APM will advance. Congratulations, sir. Uh, Walter, well played. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself, enjoyed your stay. I know you probably participated in one of the show matches for this tournament a long time ago, but I hope you enjoyed. We're going to update the bracket really quickly, and then that's going to do it for me today. If you guys don't want to see any spoilers, not many of them on the round of 16 here, but uh, if you want to avoid looking at the screen, now is your last chance. And here we go. Uh, so, low APM, high BMI takes the set two games to one off of Walter here. And he will advance and await the winner of Sky Striker versus Mark Landers. No, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's been a lot on my end. But I think everyone has enjoyed it. So, that's the... Uh, good thing anyways right um i've enjoyed it a lot a lot of casting though but yeah thank you thank you uh good luck next to low apm high bmi walter hopefully get to play some games with you here at some point but uh yeah ggs